Alrighty, hello everyone, welcome to episode 40 of the Road to Glory. Kind of weird to think that it is, or not weird, kind of crazy to think that I'm already on episode number 40, that I've already made 39 other of these things and put up on this channel and yeah, whatever. Um first things first thank you all for the support you've shown so far on the video i put up earlier today uh or i guess maybe not early in the morning well i guess for me it was definitely early in the morning it was like three o'clock or whatever um but with the bronze pack method to glory video um so far has been well received by everyone so that's great to see makes you makes you really happy um, and, you know, continued to, I've, I've, I've still been on the account a little bit more, relisted some stuff, did some more packs and all of that. And let me tell you, everything is starting to kind of fall into place. And, you know, the players are starting to be, players are starting to rack up in the club. And it's, it's genuinely, genuinely really, really fun, uh, that I've had on it so far. But that is a different series that, um, yeah, the second video for that will be out this coming Sunday. But like I said, that is a completely different series from this. Um, in today's video for the RTG, you are seeing that it is mostly, well, yeah, it is pretty much just going to be all gameplay today. I think I played, I don't even... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, I think seven games. Yeah, seven games of what I played. Um, unfortunately, did lose the first one. You know, you win some, you lose some, you draw some. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to not lose my mind with it. Um, even playing players that just obviously aren't as good. But, you know, you know how the game is sometimes. I don't want to sit here and say that I'm better than every single other player. But when I when I feel like I am better and things just don't go my way, you know, passes kind of go awry. And, you know, you know how the game goes. Or the players just overrun the ball when it's passed perfectly to them. They overrun it or they hit it with the complete opposite foot of what they need to or what they should. Or they, like, pretzel like they pretzel stretch themselves into trying to shoot it with a different foot or whatever or instead of a you know like a four bar power shot they hit it with the inside of their foot for like a finesse shot it's just whatever um but yeah today's video is just going but yeah just all in all trying to not be as upset with the game um just because it's not worth it. it it really isn't it's not worth losing my mind over over a game like this um i can see like kind of that pass there uh maybe i shouldn't have made that pass um but i just kind of expect miroslav Kloza to do a little better in that in that um situation and unfortunately my opponent did go down on the other end and score it on a counterattack. So, that, but that's just how this year's FIFA goes. Anyway, yeah, this is games uh, because, and the reason why I was playing these games wasn't necessarily for, you know, like the Martinez objective or the Jao Pedro Mar or Jao Pedro Martinez, whatever. The Jao Pedro objective wasn't playing them for to get those cards. Uh, just generally, probably not, I'm not going to be going out of my way to get them. Just looking at them earlier today and looking at my team, there's just no way they're going to fit. I'd have to really, really work around, uh, you know, like work everything around to try and fit them in. And I just, I can't be asked, you know, I'm, I'd have to drop players that I actually enjoy using you know like Dortmund players and stuff like that in order to just fit him in 
and that's just not going to happen if I don't fit in and this was kind of confusing my opponent went 3-2 up and he quit pause the game and quit I don't understand maybe I, I whatever I just I don't understand with with how that turned out I guess whatever um but yeah, just long and short, I'm not going to do those two. Um, I just, they just wouldn't, they wouldn't fit. I'd have, just, I'm more focused on, you know, I want to get certain players into the team before the end of the year. Obviously, team of the season, Royce, I want, I want to get, um, uh, what is it? I want to get Moments Balak into the team. I want to get um, moments. What's his name? Uh, moments layman into the team, just because he's he's like the only surprisingly he's the only icon in the entire game as far as I know who actually has links to Dortmund. And yes, I know he played for Schalke and all of that, whatever. But you know, and he went and played for Arsenal was arguably probably his better years with think yeah with the invincibles and stuff like that but you know whatever played for Dortmund before he went to Arsenal so I mean you just like to think that he became the best goalkeeper he could possibly be when he was at Dortmund yeah that's I'm just keep just keep uh, telling myself that may make me feel better <laughs> um but yeah I want I, I want to get certain players into the team and I, I just I don't care about players like Jao Pedro I don't care about players like Martinez they're good cards if you want them I highly recommend going and getting them they're very much so worth it um maybe not the maybe not that first objective for Jao Pedro the score with a Brazilian forward with six other Serie A players like that's kind of a pain in the butt and what a skill move there like that was really I didn't I kind of meant to do it but at the same time I didn't mean to do it but it looked really cool, so I'll take it. <laughs> I should just say, yeah, I 100% meant to do that. Like, I calculated it perfectly, and I executed it perfectly, when in reality, no, I did not. Uh, but the main reason why I am playing games today, or in today's episode, or playing as many games as I am, is because we were so close to getting Mario Getz's storyline card completed um which that card to me at least looks fantastic uh i th believe putting a what is it a hunter chem style on him makes him the best that he could possibly be um let me pull up good old foot bin here and we will look at his in-game stats with a hunter so gets uh, and I mentioned I mentioned this in the in yesterday's video yeah because yeah yesterday was Tuesday mentioned it in the video yesterday this more than likely is going to be his last card with uh, with Dortmund because he will be leaving this summer i think on a free transfer too so yeah so that's kind of crap but whatever um but it is it just general is crap that he is leaving it's unfortunate and like i mentioned before you know he's already had two stints with the club i mean he hopefully wherever he goes i'm not exactly sure where he's rumored to go um but wherever he does go i hope he i hope he does well um i wonder if i can look up quick where he is rumored to transfer to um okay so hold up ah what am i doing what am i doing oh yeah also unfortunately uh dortmund did lose to bayern yesterday so that's really freaking crap um yeah so like one of the rumors is going to enter um let's see where going to enter going to ac milan going to nice going to lazio lazio maybe he could 
you know, follow in the footsteps of Miroslav Kloza, go in there. Um, Roma, Leverkusen, that was a few months ago, though. But it seems like he's more than likely gonna, going to go to a Syria team, which isn't, you know, like that's actually not bad. I'll Maybe I'll use the Serie A squad next year, you know, if he gets a team of the season or something like that. Hopefully his injury-prone past doesn't come to bite him in the butt. Um, it seems like for the time being, his partner in crime, uh, Marco Royce, has kind of gotten over it. Um, I know back, you know, few years back he was especially during the 2014 world cup you know getting injured like right before right before it all starts wasn't able to go with them um so he's technically not a world cup winner so that's kind of sh not shameful but you know that's kind of a kind of a shame um but yeah just i i i hope obviously i wish that he would have been able to stay with dortmund but with the team that they have currently, there's just, you know, up front you have uh, Julian Brandt, you have Royce, you have um, Holland, you have Sancho still for the time being. You have Hakimi who plays a lot with the attacking, um, with the attack, you know, with all the assists and everything that he gets. Um, even, wow. Wow. Manuel Akanji rumored to go to Arsenal. That is kind of sad to see. I like Akanji, not gonna lie. Um, I wonder who who we would get in his place if we did get rid of him. I guess we do have Zagadu. Zagadu isn't bad either. Um, I haven't actually been able to watch a Dortmund game for quite some time unfortunately wasn't able to watch the the what is it the Bayern Dortmund game I usually don't like watching those because whenever I watch them it seems like they lose or maybe not so lose but just get absolutely pummeled it, you know it seems like whenever I watch Lewandowski has a hat trick or something like that or um yeah, just Lewandowski has a hat trick and just completely destroys us, which it's always really fun to watch that. I just want in my, because I wasn't a fan of them back when like Klopp was there, wasn't really like a soccer or football fan in general back then. So I didn't get to watch them win win the Bundesliga but that was obviously when Lewandowski was at Dortmund and not at Bayern really wish he was still at B Dortmund I, I still have a soft spot for him though even though um even though he plays for my like arch rival arch nemesis team <laughs> anyway back to what I was going to talk about with Mario Goetz's uh in-game stats before I got on that whole tangent of whatever so with a hunter chem style he goes up to 95 pace which is 99 acceleration 92 sprint speed so that's one fast boy and then shooting he goes up to 98 positioning 92 finishing 97 shot power and then 99 volleys as well which is fantastic passing is already really good curve i could stand to get a little higher up but i don't think he actually has oh he does have finesse shot right so yeah curve is just fine dribbling is fantastic physicality 88 stamina with 80 strength is great as well so just all in all i'm very excited to get this card and then watch this goal here just flick it boom first time on his left foot that's why that's why he's still in my team other than the fact that he's my favorite player and he's not going to get out of the team until i uh get his team of the season card you know just don't mind that fact and when i scored that goal there to go 2-1 up i genuinely forgot that the game was tied 
And then I just proceeded to defend like an absolute idiot and allow my opponent to, um, yeah, just, I thought he was going to cut it back. And for some reason, De Gea takes out his player in the box. I don't know why. Uh, just whatever. It, it, it's really, it bothers me <laughs> that he gave up that penalty kind of kind of crap um and then yeah my opponent did score the penalty and what's even better is Mbappe scores a header <laughs> you just gotta love it don't you you just gotta love it you know you're 2-1 up three minutes later three minute three in-game minutes later you're down 3-2 and you lost the game makes you feel really good just makes you makes you really just want to play the rest of the game through gritted teeth and all of that um how many more games do i, I think oh yeah this is going to be the next this next game is going to be the last game going to be the seventh game of the episode which the team i came up against was very unique to say the least it was a full come on it was a full argentine argentinian squad like i gotta give give my opponent kudos to playing with this team this team is actually very good um outside of that center back the that man of the match center back that he was using at uh at left back not left back left center back man i can't talk right now but like his players were like everywhere on the pitch you could tell he was on high press like super high press super high line super high press like this was like the opposite of drop back <laughs> drop back one depth like this was everybody plays offense everybody plays defense it was one of those kind of games and it it was really it was kind of annoying to play because i'm just not used to it but it was really fun to play this game even though you know, my opponent scored a 360, 360, you know, no look shot, pretzel shot with Martinez into the bottom corner. So that's fantastic. Um, yeah, I just couldn't like break my opponent down very well. And fortunately, though, I was able to break him down enough that, um, that I was able to get another goal there with, I think it was Visca. Yeah, Visca. Who's a player that I will never, ever get rid of. I don't actually know what his, like, goal to game or goal to assist and to game ratio is actually. But he's never leaving, never leaving the, the, uh, the club. And with that, that gave us some xp and then i did also go ahead and do um i finished uh team of the season so far moments boga to give me 600 more xp and i still needed like 234 or something like that i think i i, I still needed in order to get up to 100,000 xp so i had to go and do a few friendly matches um for like the liverpool retro kit objective i'm not getting that kit because i don't like liverpool and i don't like the kit so why would i get it <laughs> so you know whatever and considering i'm more of an everton fan i probably shouldn't like it liverpool but i like some players in liverpool okay goodness sakes like, don't kill me um but yeah here you go this is the last clip there you go got to level 30 to get mr mario Getza. And, you know, just, I don't know, what was I going to say? Yeah, we got Mario Getza. He's going to the team. He's a great card. Um, and this isn't actually going to be the team that uh, I will be using for this weekend league. It's actually not because EA released some stuff today, the day that I'm recording this. Obviously, it's Wednesday, They whatever. But they released some stuff that will be going into the team. You'll see that me completing that stuff tomorrow 
Um, so yeah, the team will be changed a little bit. It'll be going back to a Bundesliga themed squad um, in the end. But that is going to signal the end of today's video. If you did like it, please make sure to leave a like rating down below. But until next time, I will see all of you in episode number 41 tomorrow for my rewards. Bye-bye.